Welcome to Indie Rap. Yeah, so this is a 7,000 square foot penthouse, um, and tonight we're actually doing like a twilight shoot. So we start, what we're, we're doing, we started it, I want to say about 2, 3 o'clock. It's wintertime in Chicago right now, so the weather sucks, it's overcast, blah, blah, blah. But to use it to our advantage, if you notice behind me, you can see me and you can see outside, which is awesome because most of the time when you're shooting daylight, daytime, it's blown out out there. So um, you walk around, you can see, this is a 300, like I said, 7,000 square foot, 360 degree view. So this terrace wraps all the way around the perimeter of this building. And right now we got a bunch of time-lapse cameras running. Um, we have one right here running on the TV. Right, weird, right? But no, we're actually using that. We, we, we do a little weird shit like that in order to pass time and like transition from one part of the room to the next. So well, this is a weird time lapse going. We got another one right out here shooting towards the Sears Tower and uh, South, South Loop. We also have one, uh, we can walk out, check this shit out. Come out here. You know, we got one right there shooting right that way. That's, uh, that's a 6D with a 20 millimeter rectilinear lens on it. So uh, right here again, we got a, what is this, a 6D with an 11 millimeter, I think we're at 16 mil, that's a 6D with an 11 to 24 uh, Canon rectilinear architectural lens. We got a 16 mil on there shooting this way. Um, we got a siren in the background, it's trying to drown me out, but anyways, we're shooting that way. And we're catching the light as it dies down. It's 4.33 right now, and um, I think the sun sets at, what'd you say, Paul? 5.01. So we're gonna go from here, we're gonna do a whip pan in the video. Whenever they're ready, I'll wait. We're gonna do a whip pan in the video and shoot down here, shoot a one second drag and actually catch these cars blurring and all the lights on, on the city illuminating and glowing out, glowing up. So that's the plan with that. As you can see in there, we got Peter House on the slider. He's got an FS7 and a 7200 catching a lot of detail shots because you got a lot of crazy finishes in here, uh, fixtures, and it's not just, you know, a property tour isn't just about, it. with something like this, it's not just about running through a house with a big ass wide angle flying and doing all this shit because you really want to accentuate all the details in here, whether it's textured wallpaper, whether it's, uh, you know, mar whatever kind of marble that is on that countertop, these lighting fixtures, uh, the color temperature on some of these things, um, even some of the furniture uh, in this house, you know, how wide the hallways are, the details, the things in these bathrooms, the tile fixtures uh, that were picked. This is all shit that, you know, beyond like a, uh, the usual 12 or, or an 18 mil or a 24, digging into that 50 mil, digging into that 85, that 100 mil macro to really bring the details out. You know, if somebody's buying a $5 million house and you're trying to market it to them and pitch it to them, you wanna show them as much detail as you can because the point of, of, of property tour video or development, whatever we're taking down at any rap, one of the points of this stuff is to, is to pitch them when you're not there. You know what I mean? To, to actually lure them in, to actually do the walkthrough. If you're talking about an international client from another country that can't be here to walk this place, you need to cut cinematic content that they can look at, see, and bring them in to actually contact the broker, reach out, reach out to the brokerage, and actually potentially sign a contract and buy this shit. So that's why people hire us here at IndieRap. We really get real estate. We get every aspect about it. We understand it. We've been doing it for a long time and we're getting better and better and better every day. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so like as I'm walking through, whenever I'm walking through a property, I look for little details. I always ask whoever it is, uh, the property manager or the broker developer, like, is there anything you don't want to see? Everybody likes to show the stuff that you want to see, but it's like, you. I ask that because you'll 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 shoot an entire place, you'll get back to the edit and you're like, oh, can you remove this? Can you Photoshop the thing out? Probably not, right? So I always do my own walkthrough to catch things like this. Obviously, it's a it's a simple fix. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a, a, a crack in, it's like a paint crack. Easy fix, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want that coming across in the video. People are picky, people are weird. People might see that and think it's some weird shit like foundation or like a structural issue when it's not, it's something simple. But so we're gonna avoid little things like that in detail. We take all that into consideration, every little detail. It could be somebody that leaned on this paint and their fingers were dirty and you get like dark fingerprints. And when you go to color grade your footage, you have some weird fingerprints on there, you know? I have OCD for good reason. I'm an editor, I'm extremely particular and I wanna make sure that we're representing properties like this 
in the absolute best light possible. So we use our eyes before we shoot to walk through, see everything, see what to highlight, see what not to highlight, and we take it from there. I think that's good. Let's go check on these time lapse. The city is mine.